If you've ever been interested in the world of 3D modeling, but have always thought that it was something that required big and expensive technology, well, it's actually way more accessible than that. In reality, all you need is your phone and an app called Polycam. And that's it. Oh, and a huge thanks to the team at Polycam for sponsoring this video. Now, Polycam is an app that was originally only available for iPhone, but they just recently launched their Android version of the app. And so for today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the entire application and show you how to make the most of it so that you can start creating your own really cool 3D scans. Now, when you first launch the app, you'll have the option to create an account, which means your scans and collections will go with you whenever you switch over to using a different device, but you can also use the app without an account. I've already got one, so I'll go ahead and log in. And from there, the app will ask for camera and location permissions, which I'll go ahead and grant. And right away, we're automatically taken to the photo mode where we can start scanning our first object. But before I do that, I'm gonna first tap this X button here and give you a very brief look at the rest of the app. And as you can see, this first page is filled with all of my previous captures, again, synced across given that I'm logged in. We can also quickly view any of my saved captures and each of these have actually been sourced from this explore page. This is just like the explore page on Instagram, but for 3D scans. And this is actually the world's fastest growing library of 3D assets, which is super cool. And they've all been uploaded by other users of Polycam. The other page here is our albums page, which we can use to organize any of our own captured scans or scans saved from the explore page. But let's now get to the really fun part of the app, creating our own 3D scans. So back on the captures page, we'll go ahead and tap this plus icon up the top here, and that will launch us back into photo mode. If we first tap this little question mark icon, the app will present us with some really helpful tips for producing the best captures. But the key takeaways are to pick objects with lots of texture and detail, to avoid reflective surfaces, and to diffuse lighting as best as possible. If you're capturing scans outside, then that'll mean you'll get the best results on a cloudy, overcast day, rather than a super bright and sunny day. You also wanna capture as many images of the object as possible from every possible angle. And if you can't get under an object, then you can simply turn it over to capture the underside. For some of my scans, I actually used this turntable to ensure that lighting stayed consistent. But obviously, once I had captured the sides and the top of my various objects, I just flipped them over to capture the bottom. Now, the minimum requirement for each scan is 20 photos and the max is 200 photos. But like I said, the more photos you take, the more detailed and accurate your scans will be. Once you've finished capturing all of your photos, you can then tap this button that says done. And from there, we'll be taken to this new page where we can dial in some additional settings. The first setting we may want to adjust is the detail level. And if you're unsure which detail setting to use, just tap this little information icon and you'll get a handy summary of each detail setting. But for this example, I'm gonna select full, which is what's recommended for high definition video work. You can then also choose to use object masking, which is recommended if you've had to flip or rotate your object at all throughout the capture, which I did, so I'll also turn this on. I'm now gonna go ahead and tap the upload and process button, and the length of time to complete this process will depend on how many images you've taken. But once that is complete, you'll then be taken to a new page which has a bunch of new options to choose from. Firstly, you have the process button down here to go back and adjust any of the settings you set on the previous page. You also have the extend button down here which will take you back to photo mode in case you need to capture any missing areas evident in the scan. Up the top is this little more button where we can name our scan, add it to an album, delete the raw data to save our space or delete the entire scan altogether. And then next to that more button is the option to publish your capture to the explore page. Then last, but certainly not least, is our export button. And this is where you can export your scan as a variety of file formats. And if you're into 3D modeling already, then you'll know what some or all of these formats are. But if you're a beginner or you're not really too sure what to pick, then a safe option would be OBJ or GLTF, which means you'll be able to open it in most 3D modeling applications like Blender, Cinema 4D, and Unreal Engine. When you then open that link on any device, it will automatically download your 3D scan in your chosen file format, and you can then import it into your 3D modeling software of choice and make any adjustments as necessary. 
The team over at Cinecom showcased some really cool examples of how you can utilize your scans using Unreal Engine. So I'll leave a link to their video down below. But aside from that, that is the entire Polycam application. Seriously impressive stuff. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that whilst you can use the app completely for free, this will limit you to only 150 photo mode captures in total, plus limited export options. So if you're into 3D modeling at all, then upgrading is totally worth considering. But as I said, you can still use the app completely for free. So with that in mind, make sure you check out Polycam using the first link down in the description below. But that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to Polycam for supporting the channel and I'll catch you later.